this is the point. Just because I can afford to pay does not mean I should. It is the... Uh, principle. It is the principle of the thing. Besides, being rich is something I like. If I am all the time spending money, I will soon be unrich. I met the guy who's restoring the big mosaic in the main room. He's pretty intense. Colin Baxter? Uh, I do not know how any man can find happiness looking at pieces of painted rock all day. Is Talking right? to him, it's like taking a sleeping pill. Que barba. But they say he is good. And so, he works for me. Who are they? Everyone I know. All my friends on casas like this one. And since something is always in need of repair, we are constantly on the lookout for good workmen. And when we find them, we trade them back and forth like you Americans trade recipes for cookies. Olivia von Helstein raved about the work he did for her. And what is good enough for the Countess of Schlosselbeck is more than good enough for me. All right. I'll stop pestering you now. Good, good. And Nancy, that blouse you are wearing, you should change it. Um, excuse me? Well, that's rude. Oh. Don't want to mess with those. Okay, so let's see. What's this? I did not write that for you to read. Well, then maybe you shouldn't just leave it right there. Okay, so let's go see what that parcel is outside for us that Colin told us about. Oh! Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Here, I'll get those. You must be my newly arrived roommate. I'm Helena Berg. I'm Nancy Drew. Sorry for all the commotion when I came in last night. My plane got in three hours late. No need to worry about waking me up. I can sleep through almost anything. Well, I'm sure you have things to do and places to go, so I won't keep you. Oh, by the way, there's a parcel for you in the entryway. Ciao! Um... So that was my roommate, Helena, and... I just find it kind of weird, like, why would she have a picture of herself in a room? I mean, like, usually you had pictures of, like, other people who are you with someone, but no, just picture of yourself. <laughs> okay, so here's the newspaper. Has the phantom struck again? Apparently. Okay, so here's her parcel. Okay, please find a push my card. Okay, so here's her bank card. And... Yes. Okay, so before we go anywhere, we should probably talk to Elaine and get to know her first, I guess. We can get here. Oh, there she Hello, is. Nancy, right? Mm -hmm. So, how do you like Venice? It's all right. <laughs> no. Oh, it's incredible. I think Venice is the most fascinating city in the world. Its history, its art, its layout. Everything about it is so rich and so beautiful and says so much about human ingenuity. I absolutely love it. Well, it's nice. Have you ever thought about living here? I have indeed. In fact, every time I come here, I make an effort to meet new people. Having friends is very important to me, you see. But I don't want to move here until I can afford my own palazzo. So, until that day, I... Shall have to content myself with staying here wherever I can and as often as I can. Hmm. What do you do for a living? I'm a journalist. Right now I live in Hamburg because that's where the offices of your event magazine are. I do most of my writing for them. But I know far more about Venice than I do about Hamburg. In fact, I know more about Venice than most Venetians do. I know where the best souvenir stands are, the nicest glass shops, yeah, I'll make you a list of the cheapest cafes. No, no, that's okay. You don't need to do that. You don't want to know where the cheapest cafes are? Are you sure you're American? I'm just not into touristy things, that's all. I see. Oh, but you could tell me what your very favorite spot in Venice is. I'd love to know that. Oh, well, let me think. That would have to be Campo San Paolo. There's something 
I don't know. Something very avant-garde about it that's quite charming. So, what do you think about all this phantom thief stuff? I probably shouldn't say this, but I think it's great. A caped figure darting down walkways beside moonlit canals, melting mist-like into the shadows, escaping not with stolen money, but stolen art. It's all just so wonderfully... Venetian. You condone what he's doing? No, of course not. It just captures the imagination, that's all. As far as crime sprees go, this fun is rather refreshing. Il Phantasma hasn't physically hurt anyone, and has some very interesting ideas when it comes to what's worth stealing. In fact, it's altogether possible this phantom could turn out to be a woman. Whew! That would be a story I'd write for free. Since you're a journalist and you're right here, aren't you tempted to write a story about this phantom thief person? As a matter of fact, I am writing a story for your vault. So, have you dug up anything juicy? This case is so huge, the police are swamped. Apparently, they've got people coming in from all over the world to help track down leads. Huh? My contacts at the police station are too busy to give me the time of day, let alone a juicy tip. However, one of my non-police sources just told me something very interesting. He said the word on the street is that the next thing the thief steals is going to be a person. Really? He's going to kidnap someone? A very wealthy someone. At least, that's a rumor. Do you talk to Colin Baxter very much? I try to talk to him, but he's so focused on his work. Having a decent conversation with him is virtually impossible. Once, out of politeness, I feigned an interest in what he was doing, and the next thing I knew, he was showing you his test race slides. Yes! They went on and on and on! It was nightmarish. I felt like a seabird that had landed in an oil slick and couldn't fly away. The only way I could escape was to confess that I found the slides less than fascinating. Which hurt his feelings terribly, I'm afraid. But it couldn't be helped. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. Oh, yeah. The man is obsessed, mm -hmm. which is a shame, really. After all, he's not bad looking, and there's a touch of intrigue about him. What do you mean? Once, while he was working, his cell phone rang. He immediately left the room to take the call, but as he was leaving, he picked up by saying, this is Justin, not Colin, Justin. He's using a fake name? Either Justin or Colin. One of them's fake. Well, that's suspicious. I should get going. It's been a pleasure. Pretty look it. Oh, Thank thanks. you. My boyfriend gave it to me. Boyfriend? You do have it all, don't you, Nancy Drew? She sure does. Okay. So now we can go outside and go check around town. We should probably go and find the bank machine so we can see what that is for. And I believe the bank machine's at this place. So we gotta get there. So this is where we are right now. And all the places with the eyes are where we can go. And the black lines mean that we walk there on foot. The blue is that we go on gondolas. And the red is for a vehicle. So let's go to the bank. Ah, uh, yes, this is the right place. Let's see. Hey, have you seen the TV show? What's the TV show? What's the TV show? No, what's the TV show? A police officer has seen it. And while he was doing it, he was trying to capture the phantom that was being watched and became... They're watching us. Let's get our card. Um... Let's go on, let's get our card. Welcome. Welcome. So let's read the instructions again. After you read this, you're provided with binoculars and a PDA. So we are to spy on Antonio Fango. Um, he's a suspect for this phantom case. Um, we have to do it from the rooftop of Kals Costa. Um, and we. It will 
pay Jess on the PDA whenever he enters his office. And, okay. And that is him right there. And then I guess there's just stuff about him. Okay. Oh. Okay, those binoculars and our PDA. Sweet. So, let's... Oh, wrong way. Um, let's, oh, did I, no, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> That's this great. kiosk could come in handy if I ever need any reference books. Mm-hmm. Now, something interesting about this is that this magazine right here, team, I actually have, well, I had this magazine. I don't have any more because it was very old and I got rid of all kinds of, but I did have it, and when I first got this game, and when I saw that, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, well, what was this? German English Dictionary. Sure, why not? Oh, here's the magazine that Helena looks for. She, no, okay, she's not on the, her name's not on it, but that's the one, so we should buy that and see what she wrote about, and sassy detective. Well, Nancy's a sassy detective, so this fits. Exclusive Q&A with Canada's hottest newest girl sleuth. Ah. That will come in handy, so let's read this. Uh, to, okay, so this is how locks work. And here all you need is a hairpin. And that just tells you how to pick a lock and stuff like that. Which may come in handy. So here's the magazine that Helena works for. And it is in German. So this is why we have our German to English dictionary. And this is about him and this trial. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to read it, but you may pause and read if you want. So, let's see. Let's... Oh, okay. Um, I guess we'll go back to the car. Mm, and let's see, we could probably maybe talk to Helena about some stuff, maybe. I'm not sure. This is new. That must be where we had to watch um, Antonio from. Or where he works or whatever. Now, if I pronounce stuff weird, it's because I don't know. Uh, oh, <gasps> that's my pager. Antonio Fongo is in his office. Time to go to work. Okay, well, let's just forget what I'm saying and let's just go to work. Okay, we gotta go watch him. Belgium. Hopefully no one notices me running around, going crazy, trying to get somewhere. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay. Well, the office building isn't too far away. Nancy, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Um, psh, we're just spying on someone. Duh. No, we're, we're in bird watch. Uh, bird watching. It's one of my hobbies. You Americans always busy doing something. Get annoyed. Well, you're just sitting and tanning all day. <laughs> oh, oh, what's he doing? Is he like picking his teeth? Oh, oh my god, he's like looking right at me. <laughs> oh, whew, didn't see. 